This is a presentation about Walt Whitman, a poet and a nurse. The objective of this presentation is to discuss um, who is Walt Whitman, his biography, um, his attribute and values as a nurse, and his nursing contribution and achievements, and finally a reflection. Walt Whitman was born in New York in 1819 in a poor family. He left school at the age of 11 to help with his family's income. Over the years, Whitman held various jobs such as printer, editor, journalist and teacher. And during this time, he wrote many literatures that made him famous. Whitman's nursing career started during the Civil War in 1862 when he was visiting his wounded brother. Affected by the suffering that he has seen on the battlefield and the hospital, Whitman volunteered as a nurse. Whitman had no formal training and had learned everything by watching and doing, with his main duties being giving medication, feeding and cleaning. During a train trip with the wounded soldiers to Washington, he had helped writing down messages um, from the wounded and promised to send them. He had treated the soldiers with genuine care and concern. Whitman then stayed the next five years in Washington. During this time, he took a low-paying office job and spent most, most of his time visiting and attending to the wounded soldiers, doing whatever he could to provide comfort for the soldiers. Whitman considered his hospital service as, uh, quote, the greatest privilege and satisfaction and, of course, the most profound lesson of my life. One of Whitman's attributes is his um, commitment. Whitman demonstrated this attribute during his time in Washington. His whole life has always evolved around literature. It even made him very famous, yet he took up a low-paying clerk job when he was in Washington just so he could make frequent visits to the wounded soldiers and veterans. And he did it for five years. It takes a lot of commitment to volunteer in a field that he didn't know he'd be interested in prior to the war and he to continue it for five years. A cross-section uh, section of study had been, has been carried out by Barak um, to examine the link between job satisfaction as a nurse and professional commitment. The study described factors that may affect job satisfaction are environment, stress, organizations, uh, etc. The study concluded that job satisfaction has a direct impact on a nurse's commitment. Um, Brown studied the role of nurses during World War I and stated that the condition was awful, um, impossible workload and personal deprivation. This shows that despite the horrible condition of the hospital of the 1800s and the depressed atmosphere for wounded soldiers, Walt Whitman showed his commitment by staying in Washington as a volunteer nurse for five years, even after the war has ended. The main value demonstrated by Walt Whitman is compassion. Florence Nightingale viewed compassion as an essential trait that all good nurses should possess. Compassionate care is the embodiment of person-centered care, the most important aspect of nursing care. It is important that Nurses understand that people feel vulnerable when they seek help because they seek. Um, therefore, it is important that nurses can be compassionate with people in their vulnerable state, as it will result in a better patient outcome. At the same time, being compassionate, compassionate can take a toll on a personal well-being, leading to compassion fatigue from having to encounter um, sufferings on a daily basis. Whitman demonstrated his compassion during the Civil War. When he was put in charge of a train load of wounded soldiers, he provided the soldiers um, comfort by writing down the messages for their family and promised to send it. It will be fair to assume that the compassion Whitman had for the wounded was so great that he continued his volunteer work for five years, despite never had any prior nursing experience. One of Whitman's achievements to the nursing profession and healthcare in general was his recognition of diseases and infection because of unhygienic practices in the 1800s. Um, Riley in his studies noted that during the Civil War, twice as many were dying from diseases than in combat, and the main cause of death is infection. 
Women noticed that the winter soldiers were suffering from fever and diarrhea, in which later died due to factors such as unboiled water, dirty environment, and fecal matter in food. In his poetry, The Wind Dresser, Whitman described how he carefully clean and dress all types of wound he comes across. Personally, I think this is a significant achievement as the awareness of hygiene and infection control were poor in the 1800s and Whitman, despite all the chaos that ensured within a makeshift hospital for the wounded, still took time to notice and carefully observe his patients. Notably, the Civil War was the time when infection was recognised as a prominent issue in healthcare and paved the way for the research of antibiotics and the use of antiseptic techniques. Whitman's other contribution to the nursing profession is his demonstration of person-centred care. In a letter he sent to his friend, Whitman stated, quote, I feel much possessed with the wounded. I reject none, of course, not rebel wounded, not blacks. Unquote. Brighton and Stephens in their study describe person-centred approach is about being able to understand the personal values, culture, religion, etc. of the patients and support the patient as they make the health decisions. Henny had um, studied the patient experience throughout hospital admission and have concluded that patients were satisfied when they feel that their concerns were being heard and they felt like they were being cared for when the requests were being considered. Whitman, as a nurse, has recognised that healthcare is holistic, not just about treating the clinical symptoms, and Whitman demonstrated this when he wandered among the patients during the train ride to Washington, ensuring that he can provide as much comfort as he could with his, in his cap capability. I really admire Whitman's commitment to help the wounded soldiers, as I believe it is something that only a small amount of people can do for such a long period of time. Learning about Walt Whitman has made me re-evaluate my own commitment towards nursing, in a sense that I would strive to achieve the best for my patients, despite the circumstances. Um, he conducted a study and discussed that since evidence-based practice were introduced in the Korean healthcare system in the early 2000s, patient outcomes have greatly increased. The study emphasizes that evidence-based practice implementation is just not organizational, but also based on the nurses' beliefs, knowledge, skill, and readiness. In addition, the study noted that the adaptation of evidence-based practice is also based on the nurses' commitment. The study resonated with Whitman's commitment to nursing to adapt new ways when he recognised the dirty environment is what caused disease that lead to mortality of wounded soldiers. This aspect of Whitman's action as a nurse has strongly reinforced my nursing identity to always aim for the highest goal for my patients and to always maintain high level of practice to ensure optimal patient outcomes. Another aspect of Whitman that really resonates with my professional identity is gratitude, attitude towards nursing. Describing it as, quote, the greatest privilege and satisfaction. Personally, I am very proud of the nursing profession and I have always wanted to make a difference in people's life, even just a little. Bacha Juska um, conducted a study about chronically ill patients' satisfaction towards nurses and have found that the patient satisfaction increases when they encounter nurses with positive attitude and wants to improve the quality of care. The study is relevant because patients with chronic illness generally have a lower mood, like the wounded soldiers of the Civil War. Riley in his study reported that medical practitioners perform many amputations that were not necessary. Therefore, it is safe to assume that um, the amputated may have had a very low mood. Therefore, as a nurse, Whitman performed other duties than just general nursing practice. He wrote letters, doing small errands, buying food, uh, etc. Whitman's action may not have been much, but it made a difference for many, include, including those that did not make it home. Thank you for listening to the presentation.